this is Shayla. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while and I thought I would do one on my December oils that I've used this month in this crazy, crazy, crazy month. And um, so yeah, here are the December oils that I've used and why I've used them and what they've used them for and how I've used them. The why, the what, and the how. Yes. And uh, yes, these are all doTERRA essential oils and I love doTERRA's product because of the great benefits that it is, the all natural, the um, that it's derived straight from the plant, the CPTG certification that it goes through, all the testing to make sure that it's the purest and the best. And then I also love it because of the um, where they source. Their sourcing is amazing. They um, help others. Um, in other countries to bring community centers to them. They um, use them to help um, communities, giving them jobs and helping them to <clears throat> just flourish and become better. And um, we get the great oils from them. I'm trying, hopefully not gonna have too many interruptions during this video. Um, yes, let's get started so we can get it done and my kids can leave me alone for a little bit. <clears throat> so the Emotion December oils that I used, the December oils I used this month um, for emotions were Copaiba, Ying Ylang and Frankincense. Those are my the top three that I found I my go-tos um, and here's what I'm finding out why. I was really drawn to the Ylang Ylang and the um, maybe the smell, the scent and as I've always found when I'm drawn to a particular oil I will then look into the emotion side of it and normally almost always it always targets an emotion that I needed at that time and so the ylang ylang is the oil of the inner child and it's to help with releasing emotional trauma and it reminds us that joy can be <clears throat> felt more fully by allowing the heart full range of the emotions and so I had found I was drawn to it and so I started to put a few drops in the palm of my hand in the morning with maybe lavender or, or um, one of my other super favorites, uh, Balance. Uh, but I would put those in the palm of my hand and then just, you know, put my lotion in there and then just rub it all over my body and spreading it in and getting it in and absorbing it that way. Um, that is the really the only way I use the Lang Lang. I may have put it on um, a bracelet, you know, a diffuser bracelet that I have. I have a few of those. I would drop a few drops on there and um, use it that way and be smelling it all day long, inhaling it, and really just, I guess, trying to heal some some bent up stuff that I've got going on. So Ylang Ylang was the one that I found my go-to this December. Um, the second one is frankincense, of course. Uh, it's the Jesus oil, so, you know, when we're Christmas time thinking about all the wonderful things of Jesus and what he's brought into our life. It's the oil of truth and it's for helping to create healthy attachments, which I found interesting that I was drawn to this one because this time of my life and my season that I'm in, um, because I'm really working on that. That's one of the things that I'm working on is developing some healthy relationships and um, allowing my heart to to attach and and be free in that healthiness and it's exciting um, and it reminds us that we're loved and protected as Jesus often does and Copaiba is the third one that I had talked about <clears throat> it's the oil of unveiling and this is kind of a new one I believe for doTERRA not new like last month but it's fairly new and getting kind of popular. Um, we use it for, un well, we use it for a lot of different things, but what I used it for was to unwind some emotions and pent up anxiety. I found our last school day before break, I probably was just as anxious as the kids were. <laughs> and I kind of found myself, I was telling my new pair, I was like, oh my god I know now how the kids feel only I'm able to somewhat contain it and they are not um, but I I felt like that urge to just God can 
2.30 get here soon enough? I don't believe it can. Um, so I took some Copaiba and I just put it on the inside of my wrists and on my diffuser bracelet that I had and it even took some big inhales. Like I, where is it? There's my Copaiba. I like got screwed and like, oh gosh, it really, it, it did tone me down a bit, um, which helped. It helped the kids in the class. It helped me. Um, so yes, those were the top three that I used for some emotional benefits. The Ylang Ylang, uh, the frankincense, of course, and then the Copaiba. <clears throat> and what I love about frankincense and the connections that God brings into my life sometimes is... Um, so we very recently lost a, the family dog, one of our family dogs, and it went on the Christmas list of both of the kids for a new dog. And the kids and I yesterday went to went to the shelter to get an adopted dog, and there was one there named Frankincense, and he was the perfect fit for us and the perfect match. And it's just kind of one of those things where you're like, God's taking care. So anyway, that's just a little side note. Didn't plan on sharing that, but I did. The oil of truth is that frankincense. <laughs> um, also, frankincense is in some of the, the oil blends that I have been diffusing in the house that I just absolutely love. Absolutely love um, Harvest Spice from doTERRA. Harvest Spice is amazing. I, I'm going to smell it now because it's so good. It's great. It's got cinnamon bark in it, cassia, clove, eucalyptus, cedarwood, and nutmeg. And it, I diffuse this in the. I like to diffuse this in the dining room, um, and I can smell it in through the kitchen as well and into our hallway. Um, I just I love the harvest spice. DoTerra did an amazing job with that. They also did a great job with the holiday piece. That's another one I've been diffusing in our living room and I smell it into the front room. Holiday Peace has the frankincense in it. It also has Siberian fir, grapefruit, Douglas fir, Himalayan fir, and vetiver. And Holiday Peace, oh, I love it. It smells a lot like a Christmas tree because you've got those firs in there, which uh, the third oil I've been diffusing a lot is the Douglas fir. Um, my son Stenson is really drawn to the firs and he really likes the Douglas fir, so I've been diffusing it with a little bit of citrus bliss. Um, sometimes Douglas fir is the generational wisdom oil, and it helps to learn from and value other people's experiences. Um, it reminds us that valuable wisdom can be obtained by learning from the past as well. So for some reason, been diffusing this, and again, maybe that's something that my family needs to work on right now, um, is learning from the past. Um, which also kind of helps with the releasing emotional trauma. It also helps creating healthy attachments and relationships. So all of these things that my body tells me I need or my brain tells me I need or just I know I need. I need the oils. They help me to move on, to keep moving, to stay positive, to enjoy life and enjoy these oils. And again, you can diffuse them. You can put them on topically, or you can even ingest them. Um, one of the ingesting, thinking of ingesting, one of my friends, close friends that um, has started to get into oils, she loves to put the peppermint in her coffee. I don't like to mess with my coffee too much. Um, <laughs> just basic cream and sugar or milk and sugar. Um, but she really likes to put the peppermint in her, in her coffee. I love to do lemon in my tea as many of my videos have said before um, and possibly maybe no I think I'm just gonna stick to the lemon and the tea maybe some lime but I don't want to <clears throat> mess with it too much um, so yeah that's what I've got for my December oils and it's been a minute now that I have two full weeks off it's so amazing um, now that I have two weeks off for Christmas break. Maybe I'll do a few more videos over this. It's on my to-do list, but you know, the to-do list is such a good goal to have. <laughs> Don't necessarily have to obtain it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please respond below. Um, and please subscribe because 
I can be amazing.